In fact, let us begin first by, let's stand. Let's stand, because you've been sitting for just a little while. Stand. Ah, uh, good. Excellent. Good standing. Good standing. Okay, now who stood mindfully? Who was aware of the sensations of standing, of the movement of the legs, of the muscular turks expanding, extending, of, of the position going from low to high? Who was mindfully standing? Sit down, sit down. <laughs> now who sat aware of sitting? Who sat aware of saying, I'm descending? I'm aware of the change in the view. The view changed, right? Went from this to this, went from this to this. You missed it. Okay. So let us do a mindfulness practice, a very genuine mindfulness practice, one you can do all the time because you're constantly standing and sitting and standing and sitting, oftentimes unaware of where the mind even is in those moments. So it can be its own opportunity. Hello. I'm Scott. <laughs> <laughs> so are you aware of where your feet are making contact with the ground? Because you, your feet have been making contact with the ground for a long time, but you probably haven't been much aware of it. Aware of where your body is making contact with the chair, your bottom with the seat of the chair. Take a moment, turn your attention here. You're turning your attention. You're exercising the muscle of attention. When we talk about where the mind spends much of its time, somewhere else, not a place that you're placing it, the idea that you could actually place it somewhere and now have control over where your mind actually is, is a rather extraordinary skill. Not one to be taken lightly. And left to our own devices, not one that tends to follow instructions. So we're aware of the sensations of our body making contact with the chair as we breathe. Aware of the intention, forming the intention to stand. There's an intention that precedes the standing. We miss that one too. And that's a really elusive one. But we can be aware of even that. And then when you're ready in the next moment or two, slowly, deliberately, and as best you can. This is hard work. I don't think it's easy to stand mindfully. I think it's very challenging to stand up mindfully. So, See if you can maybe not miss so much of the opportunity. Because the mind will, maybe even now already is, darting away. So when you're ready to stand, let's stand slowly, aware of the sensations of standing. And now that we are, to be aware of standing. As we breathe. Which means to be aware of the flow of air as it moves into and out of your body. And then when you're ready, the next moment or two to sit. Aware of sitting. Beginning with the intention. Warming the intention to sit. And then to do so, aware of And if we were, had more time and the conversation moved in larger directions, I would ask, who made that decision for you to sit? You or the person next to you? I said, when you're ready. But it's interesting because we do follow suit. You know, we're standing there and all of a sudden we start sitting, so we sit. Were we aware of whatever it was that came along that then invited us to sit, even though we weren't aware that it was sort of calling the shots? This mindfulness really is about calling more of the shots of what we say, and what we do, and how we respond as opposed to react, especially in the midst of challenging moments. So, I want to share with you that if you leave and you go, you know what, I have a mindfulness practice. When I stand, I stand mindfully, and when I sit, I sit mindfully. You will walk away with a practice that I think would serve you so well. It would be so easy to forget to do.